And welcome back to Local Lifestyles. Well, no doubt fall weather arrived in the Tri-State today, so not too far away are all of the fall events. Shanna Greninger is here from the Boys and Girls Club with more on their right. annual Trunk or Treat event. And these have become pretty popular. You yeah. guys are doing yours in October, but it's a little quite a bit before Halloween. So we are partnering for the third year mm -hmm. with Bar Louie and okay. a Trunk or Treat, a free community event. Yes. Um, so we love that we're just able to Give the kids a good, fun, safe uh, environment, really, to yep. get all the candy that they want. That's right. All in one place. I think that's yes. kind of the key to these uh, trunk or treat events is that, yeah, yeah you get them dressed up. You know, we know that that oh, yeah. takes a while sometimes anyway to get the kids uh, all ready and in their costumes. You know, but then you don't have to take them in and out of the car. You just take them one place, and like you said, they get as much candy as they could possibly want. It, they do. And <laughs> or at least as much as they really need, it, let's yes. be honest. I, I can't promise bellies won't be hurting. <laughs> but, right. um, you know, the last couple of years it has rained okay. um, for this event so we are really hoping that the weather cooperates yes. Ron. So that, <laughs> yes Ron if you can make that happen uh, <laughs> that would be great but um, we, we were gonna have vendors <laughs> inside Bar Louie um, okay. if need be if okay. the weather is not on our side um, okay. which is what we've done the last couple of years and it's yeah. worked out great it does um, otherwise we're gonna be outside so they have a phenomenal back patio mm -hmm. area and even the front parking lot right. um, which you know we just started pushing this out, um, so we are looking for companies um, okay. that would like to participate. Yeah. So our goal is to have 20 vendors. Right okay. now, we're at about six vendors. Okay. So, so you um, you do need quite a few. We, we still got yeah, we've still got plenty of time, uh, and like I said, free. And we're just asking vendors to to participate, to yeah. dress up their table, okay. uh, wear a costume if they want, yeah. and then bring candy, goodie bags, whatever they whatever like to hand out. Do. And that would be a good kind of yeah. team building thing for your company or your group or whatever you have too, right? It certainly would. Yeah. And, you know, we have uh, several different companies from realtors to automakers, mm -hmm. um, just different companies in and around the tri-state. So we welcome everybody. Yeah. And the easiest way is to contact me at the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. I can get you lined up. Um, Perfect. It's a three-hour event. So yeah. on October 27th, it's a Thursday. Okay. So from 5 to 8 p.m., mm -hmm. um, handing out uh, goodies to the kids. Yeah. And then beyond that, Bar Louie has uh, graciously, they're going to donate 20% of their food mm -hmm. and non-alcoholic beverage sales for the evening. So from 5 p.m. Oh, until wow. they close. Okay, yeah. so there's all kinds of ways that you could help. You could yes. be a vendor, uh, you could bring your kiddos uh, yes. to enjoy all the fun. Yes. You can just go and eat uh, at Bar yes. Louie uh, that night, and that's all going to go and help uh, the Boys and Girls Club. So like you said, the it all goes to you guys. And then what do you what do you use those funds for? Why are they so important? It is. So especially this time of the year when we, we do a Christmas store, so we are always okay. looking for ways to make sure we have enough gifts for that. Yes. So this is a good supplement to any uh, additional holiday or seasonal yeah. activities that we are doing for the kids, as well as programming. Um, we, we really try to make the best of, of what we have, right. but we certainly need additional funds to make that possible. And your fall programs, I assume, are in full swing right now. They are. We yeah. just opened last week for okay. fall winter programs. How's the first week? Been. So it's been good. We are so thrilled that we are, are finally. Are you glad that it's cooling down? Yes. <laughs> right now? Today's weather is yeah. perfect. Um, but yes, we are open for fall winter program now. Okay. So if you haven't enrolled your child, um, go ahead and do that. And what's the best way to do that? So we have applications available at both of our units. Okay. You don't have to come in. You can pick them up um, or just call us and we can kind of walk you through that right. as well. And then it's $10 for the year. Um, oh, that's wow. from now okay. and th uh, through August of next year. So not bad at all. And no. the kids get to enjoy things all the way through they this do. year. Okay. They do. We're excited about this, so yeah. remind everybody real quick of the date. So Thursday, October, October 27th, 20th. come see us at Bar Louie. October 20th. 27th. 27th, okay. It 27th. was wrong on my paper. Um, I'm glad we got that. <laughs> come see us at Bar Louie. Um, if you can't be a participating vendor uh, and you have children or grandkids, bring them out for the fun. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Thank yeah. you, Shanna. Always Thank happy you. to see you. We'll see you, you again too. soon. And we'll be right back after this with more Local Lifestyles.